Hello, I'm Laura Ellen Anderson and I'm the author and illustrator of the Amelia Fang series and today I'm going to be reading you a sneak peek from Amelia Fang and the Unicorn Lords. Ding-a-ling, ding-dong! Welcome aboard the Rainbow Rail. We sincerely apologise for the delay. The fairy has now been removed from the toilet. Please snuggle up comfortably and enjoy the view as we make our way to our one and only destination, Glitteropolis. We do hope you enjoy your journey with us to Diddly Day, chimed the voice. Well, this is nice, said Florence, making herself comfortable in one of the carriage bean bags. Why, hello there, said a deep voice. Florence jumped and farted in fright. A shiny young unicorn with a dark, shimmery mane was perched on a nearby bean bag. You made me jump, said Florence. Apologies, said the unicorn. I didn't mean to startle you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Fabio. He swished his mane. Florence, said Florence. Lovely day, Fabio smiled. Florence peered out of the window and sniffed. Average, I guess. So where are you from, said Fabio. Florence shuffled uncomfortably in her beanbag. Um, she stammered. We're from Handsome Hill, said Amelia, stepping in. I'm Amelia, by the way. Nice to meet you. Handsome Hill, said Fabio, raising an eyebrow. I've never heard of it. Amelia felt a bead of sweat trickle down her forehead. That's because it's a small hill, said Florence. You're unlike any unicorn I've met before, said Fabio, turning back to Florence. There's something different about you. Fabio paused. Amelia felt a heart pound in her chest. I know what it is, Fabio finally said. Your mane, it's so full of life. How do you achieve that volume? Florence blinked at him, then looked over to Amelia, who shrugged. Um, said Florence, stroking her chin. It's all about the conditioner. Can only find it in Ansem meal, you see. Got extract of ill. Well, said Fabio, after a few seconds of silence, it looks beautiful. Amelia put a hand up to her mouth to stop herself from laughing. Florence's eyes widened. It's delightful to meet you, Florence, said Fabio. Would you do me the honour of joining me for a cuddly custard pie tomorrow? Florence sank lower into her beanbag and looked over at Amelia, who was still trying not to laugh. <laughs>